Hi, this is Dousbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. Yep, we're about in the middle of the first week of the third month of game time. We found this really neat Arathian castle down in the bottom corner here, which has everything built and plenty of troops, so that's really going to help build up armies if we can get them down there. And meanwhile, that coastal Rathian castle keeps beating back assaults from the orange player. And Tarnum's ready to go back up there and reflag those couple of mines. Just make himself available in case the orange player gets any more ideas. Meanwhile, there are just a couple of things left that we can pick up in this corner. Besides, tons and piles of troops from that Arathian castle in the corner. Okay, and Cuthbert is going to start flagging things. Certainly doesn't need. There. And he doesn't have eagle eyes, so he doesn't need that. But he can use some of those troops that Adelaide has. Yep, she's going to have to get those pit beams turned into pit lords. Definitely a castle close by. Okay, I bet Caitlin can take that out easily, especially with the reinforcement she picked up. Maybe she can try to hire the rest of those Archangels. Okay, good job. Let's have her head. I believe I've already got Loinus heading that way too. And I will just build things to hire troops and we'll be back in a sec. And we're back. I just saw another orange hero down there. Tartan's right on top of those couple of mines. We'll have him flag those real quick. And then... Head over there to take out Malekith. And then we'll have... Sonya head over to that castle. Then Caitlin's out. And we'll have Cuthbert head for that dungeon castle. Okay, I'm going to save and then have him assault it. Okay, they've had time to build up some troops. Sh 
surely Cuthbert would have chain lightning. But oh, not the spell points to cast it with. Well, I guess magic arrow on the evil eye is for what it's worth. that we're not really ready for this castle yet. At least not without a full crop of spell points. Okay, we did get the gate down. Let's take some of those arrow towers out. Yeah. At least try to. This is not going well. If this doesn't work, we'll come back from the save game and maybe try to find him a magic well or something. This is not going well. Hmm. <laughs> this is going terrible. Yes!
Let's reload that. Okay. Maybe we'll talk to that horde of archers, which wants to join us. And pray that the guy in the castle doesn't come out after us. Adelaide, get back on the boat. Okay, we'll build things in the castles. Hope to goodness Cuthbert stays alive and come back in just a little bit. So hang on. And we're back. I often slip out alone to think. Yeah, it's a risk, but my sword arms only failed me once. Besides, I'm immortal. This time, however, I spotted Mensor sneaking among the rocks, so I followed him. Mensor's clandestine meeting was with an Arathian knight, not a demon, as I was beginning to believe. Why else would he be sneaking out here alone? Just a minute, please. Okay. Back from that clandestine meeting. Why else would Mensor be sneaking out here alone? I didn't recognize the man, but I suspected it was part of Queen Allison's troops. Using my barbarian hunting skills, I managed to get close enough to hear the end of their conversation. Are you sure? That was Mensor. Yes, said the other. My father never had a squire named Tarnum. He took only two squires in his entire life. I was one, my brother was the other. Blast! I messed up! The knight must be Sir Thandos' son. My first instinct was to kill the two men to silence them forever, but I can't. For all the trouble they're causing me, they weren't bad men. Well, at least... Cuthbert didn't get attacked. Tarnum can't quite reach that hero, that orange hero, so we'll reflag some of the stuff he flagged. And then we'll send Sonya in here. We can get all these troops of hers upgraded. more champions. There, that'll work. Now maybe she... I wish there was a way that she could get up there. Let's see what she's got in her spell book.
course it might. Well. We can only send her up that way. Help turn them out. And we will try to flag stuff here and see if we can find a magic well. Since Cuthbert evidently is not quite ready for prime time here. Okay, I think I think Lloydus can handle this. A lot of the other creature stacks are pretty darn weak. There. Surprisingly well. I think I'll give him basic logistics. So we'll hire troops, then build things, and we'll be back in a minute. <sighs> okay, we're back, and the orange player has headed down that way. And trying to can't quite reach. But Sonya is fully kitted out, so she's coming up to help. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on just a second, people. Yeah, that was the message for my 
house guest over the recent national holiday. She made it safely back. To her house in her unair conditioned car. Oh crap, it crashed. Just a second, people. And we're back right inside that castle we were trying to get into before. And we will hire some extra troops to give to Adelaide. Considering that she's delivering them to Cuthbert, who needs all the troops he can get, we'll go ahead and trade resources so that she can get even more troops. Like all those pit lords. Okay, then we'll have Valeska come out of garrison very briefly to deliver troops to Adelaide. troops before Adelaide moves off its turn. Yeah, hang on. We're just about done. Ooh, let's see what he's doing. Let's save first. And I think we'll have Linus deal with this battle against the Walking Dead off camera. And then we'll move on to the next turn, and we'll see you in the next episode. So we will see you then.